Okay, friends, we're gonna go over this list for today. We got flu and flux, and we're talking about to flow. First word here is affluence. Affluence is a noun, and this is one of those things that it's more like an idea. Like, you can't touch affluence. It's not a thing you can hold in your hands. But affluence just means it is the state of having plenty of money, okay? So you've got lots of money flowing in all the time. Um, money is not an issue for you. So it has to do with this idea of wealth, and it's just the state of having wealth. Um, next is confluence. Confluence is a gathering, meeting, or flowing together at one point. You might see this um, in a river maybe sometimes. If you have ever noticed like with a river, um, if there are multiple, like tr I think they're called tributaries actually, that all come together into one point eventually, this part right here is the confluence. That is where they all joined and met together. Next is effluence. Effluence is something that flows out, the outflow of something, okay? So a lot of times I think about like those big huge um, uh, tubes that are in the ground, you know? And usually there's a bunch of rocks at the end of it and the water is flowing out of that tube. The actual flowing water, this water here that is flowing out is the effluence so it's whatever is put out it's that actual whatever's flowing outward okay next we got fluctuate fluctuate is a verb it's our first verb on our list so it is an action word it basically just means to rise and fall irregular ir irregularly if i can say that word so up and down it's kind of unpredictable this could be um somebody who diets a lot but falls off of their diet or something they could have a fluctuate they, their weight could fluctuate on a regular basis. Um, if you spend money a lot, but you also are depositing money into your bank account as well, um, you, your bank account dollar amount could fluctuate up and down, okay? Um, the temperature can fluctuate from time to time. Just means that it's like variable. It's going up, it's going down, and you can't really predict it. Next is... Um, Next is uh, blah, 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 blah. fluent. Fluent is an adjective. It means to be able to flow smoothly or gracefully. A lot of time people will talk about language being fluent in a language means you can speak another language or when in your reading, your reading can be fluent as well. I know that your teachers have talked to you about that in the past. Um, as we keep going down here, we've got a noun here. Fluid, so these obviously kind of go together, fluent and fluid do, because a fluid can be described as fluent. That's what makes it a fluid. It's just the idea that it is, um, it is not, a, it's not, it just means that it's like can move around. It can flow freely. Um, a skirt, the fabric on a skirt can even be fluid. If, if when the woman walks in the skirt or whatever, it like swishes around and just moves on its own. Um, that can also be fluid. Um, fluid, this one as I just am noticing though, that is a noun because fluid could also be an adjective, but in this case it is a noun. So it is actually the liquid. Okay. Now you got fluted. If that means it's a ter tall, narrow shape designated for a smooth flow of liquid. Um, a lot of times you will see um, in a champagne glass, it is fluted. Okay, so it's tall and skinny so that the stuff, the liquid flows out of it nicely. Um, maybe sometimes like a beaker in a scientist's lab or something could be like that. Um, all right, next is influential. Influential um, should be a word you've heard before. This basically means that like if somebody is influential, it means that they can impact you. Um, they have the power to be able to do that um, and they can kind of get you to like think the way that they think. So that's why it says it makes things flow their way. Um, they just have that power to influence, to influence, okay? Um, next is influx. Influx is a flowing in of something in large number or amount. So it means that something is coming in, okay? Um, there could be an influx of 
money into my account if I just had my payday. Um, there could be an influx of questions after an unclear announcement was made. Um, just means that there's a large number coming in, okay? And then the last one here, guys, is su superfluous. Superfluous. It's kind of hard to say, but super superfluous just means you have overflow. You have plenty of something more than enough, okay? Um, if you got any problems with these guys, just let me know. I am happy to help. Um, but other than that, make sure you study and use your tools. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Mwah.